is I am going to be doing a pretty small haul for me. Usually I have really long ones. I wanted to mention that I might be doing a black sale with most of the items coming from in there. I think, I don't know, for, I think a lot of people get to the point where it's just too much stuff and I think I'm at that point. I really only use the makeup products that aren't in front of me. Those are my favorites and you know that's what happens I think when you amass a certain number of products you just end up with favorites and there's just some items that are left in the dust and that's what happened with me. I don't use a lot of things in there and I thought instead of just it's sitting in there I might as well see if somebody else wants to give it a home. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the box sale just because it's a lot more work than you would think and I just got to really sit down and figure out if I want to do it or not and put the products on my blog. So I was thinking about that and since I'm doing that, I thought I would also try to do a no buy for the month of October, possibly into November, right before the holidays, I'll stop. And I just, you know, like I said, I have a lot of makeup products and I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed trying to use up everything or at least test it out. You know, the stuff in there, I've either only swatched, maybe used once or twice and then they go into the makeup, make, makeup graveyard as, as, uh, the YouTube community would say. And so I'm going to try not to buy anything. It's hard because when you go into places like Target or Walmart or even things like stores like CVS or Walgreens, I'm just gravitated towards the beauty section. I just want to buy a bunch of things and I'm just trying to be a little bit wiser, maybe not grab everything that's out there and, you know, get stuff that I really, really love. So that's where I am with that. With that. And I also wanted to mention that I'm... I, oh, I have an eBay store and I put the link below like in a couple of videos, but I've never actually said it out loud to you guys. I do have an eBay store and I'm going to put the link below. Uh, it's just, I sell a bunch of clothes that either have, still have tags on them or I've worn once or, uh, they're new, but I cut the tags off and never wore them. So check that out. There's just a whole bunch of clothes that I just, I got them thinking I would fit into them, but I'm never going to fit into them, or they're trendier pieces, you might, you know, you might see something that you like. I usually cut the price in half, and I do free shipping, so check it out. And now let's get on to the haul. I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm thinking about, and we shall see how it goes. So the first item is a bag from Forever 21, and this was part of the uh, purchase that I mentioned you could get a ten dollar uh, refund back if you didn't subscribe to that Team Vogue hopefully some of you know what I'm talking about uh, so this is the purse that I chose for myself and it's I believe a satchel uh, satchel purse or bag and I got the color navy they had red which my sister actually has she's had that for a long time and I know that it's cute and she raves about it all the time they also had camel which was the color that I wanted but I waited too long to figure out what color I wanted and that got sold out. But I do like this blue and it's a it's smaller than, I know what the size was because my sister has it, but it's smaller than the bags that I'm used to. I'm used to ginormous break your back kind of, break your back kind of bags. And this is nice just for every day when I just don't need to carry a bag that size. Uh... The thing that's going to be annoying to me, though, and I've already pulled this out, is there's these, the, you, the straps go down into this buckle kind of thing, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a loop, and that's going to be annoying, so I'm probably just going to keep that out. Uh, and then here is, you turn that, and you know, if it didn't have this to secure it, I would probably keep these in here, but since it has this and it's secure, that's the reason why. And so you open it up. There's a pocket here. And then, you know, this is a decent size bag. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. And, I mean, just essentials, really. There's a zipper pocket. There's also two open pockets in the front here. And it has a handle over here. And then the big strap, which I'm going to use the big strap. 
And this cost, it was originally $27.80 and they were selling it. It was on sale for $18 something. I forgot the official price. But I just really like it. And I it, it's still available. I'll put the link below. I'll put all necessary links below. Uh, but yeah, I just really like this. And I can't wait to start using it. I haven't used it yet. Then I also picked up, I was at the Asian market and there was a section, it was H Mart. Um, if you haven't been into H Mart, that's an awesome place. Oh, and now the H Mart that I go to, which is in Edison, New Jersey, they have the face shop. They just got a new store and the price is a little bit more expensive because I think they, you know, add the taxes or however that works. But they had the air cushion, which I think is like that hot new Asian makeup <laughs> makeup thing. And they had nail polishes, face stuff. Um, I'm just really excited because there are a few face shop items that I like. Uh, but back to the mask, they were a dollar each and I got four of them. I got the collagen one. I also got the aloe, cucumber, and brightening. So I was down to one mask and I do like to do these every once in a while so I thought I would get a few of those. Next is, oh I was at Whole Foods and I got this, I'm gonna butcher the name, the Dr. Hauschka Lip Care Stick Softens, Hydrates, and Protects. And <laughs> I don't need another lip balm. You saw my makeup collection. I I have tons of lip care products, but I really like Dr. Hauschka. I've tried some of their products, and I thought I would try this. It's more money than I think you should ever spend on a lip balm. You could probably search for that yourself. I'm not going to say it out loud because I'm kind of embarrassed. And then I was at the, obviously I was at the makeup section, and I saw they had a bunch of samples for Giovanni stuff, and I got two of these powder dry shampoo powder oh powder power dry shampoo for all hair types it looks like that is i feel like it's gonna be very messy but i have i do use dry shampoo on and off i actually i haven't found a dry shampoo that i like i've tried maybe a few but i just haven't found one that makes it feel clean then i got let's see here i got champ the shampoo Golden Wheat Deep Cleanse Shampoo, and this is a really nice sample size. I mean, it's actually not anything special. It's probably all the same, but I don't know. It feels like it. there's a lot in there. Then I also got the Hair Reconstructor Deep Repair for Critically Damaged Hair, and I got three of these because it just sounded really good. It's uh, massage into wet hair, leave on for 10 minutes. I felt like that was a long time, and I think this is, yeah, this just is a deep, deep conditioner. So I got three of those and then I also got the styling gel. I don't really use gel but it was there and I thought I would try it out. And I forgot where this is from but it's the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with sunscreen and it's for sensitive skin. I tried this for the first time today and I really like this. I it felt thick and I was kind of concerned it was going to like stay on my skin but it absorbed really quickly so I really do like this first impressions wise. And then, oh, I, my grandmother for some reason had a whole bunch of lipsticks she wasn't using. And most of it is, I don't want to say old lady color, but there was a lot of pink frost going on. But I saw this one. It's an Estee Lauder. It probably was a free gift. It's called All Day Rosa Rosa. And that's what I have on my lips. And it just is a really nice rose tea pink color. I just love it. And I'll do a swatch on my hand. Just a really nice color. And I like how this feels on the lips too. I have a few of these and I really like them. Okay, next is oh, two Julia items for my sister. She got from H&M these heart earrings. And the other half was a pair of silver. These are the gold ones. And I think they look really cute. I should have worn them today. And this item here is just a gorgeous, simple diamond necklace. Faux, of course, but I just, don't you think that just looks so, it just, it's so simple. I think that it just makes it pretty and I just put it against here. I really like it, so I'm excited about that. I also got a new brush holder, which is actually a desk organizer, and I've been looking for some a better system to 
uh, hold my brushes that the hold the brushes that I'm currently using. So I decided to check out eBay and I found one that I really like and I want to share that with you. It is just this four compartment brush holder and it's nothing too special. I think it was about six bucks, which I, which I thought was a great deal and I actually really like it. I I was concerned that the holes would be a little too small. But there, it's not. It holds, as you can tell, it holds all the brushes that I'm using at the moment, which is a lot. So I keep all my face brushes in the longer part. And then I have all my eye brushes in this back portion right here. And then this front holds, like, my eyelash curler and uh, my eye groomer kit. So I really like this. And I definitely wanted to make a note of this because I think some of you would like this. I, I personally don't keep all the brushes that I have on my desk. I just then it will be way too cluttered. Uh, I just keep the brushes that I use at the moment, which makes sense. And I think this is really nice. I wish it came in different colors or like it was clear, but I'm sure I could find one. But for now, I really like this and I could always use this uh, for holding pens and other things if I chose to change this out. So yeah, I really, really like this. And I think, I think that's, that's it. I have just want to double check okay so I have a few video ideas that I'm coming up that I think uh, you would like the next video should be my favorite everyday lipsticks I'm also testing out a whole bunch of berry colored uh, blushes I I have one on today and it is uh, just to tell you quickly uh, preview it's the project runway limited edition um oh. I don't really like to put limited edition stuff. You know, I have put up that video, the Maybelline Color Tattoo Smoky Eye video, and I didn't realize that the Color Tattoo Rich Mahogany was a limited edition, so I apologize for that. But anyway, since I started to tell you, this is a super blendable blush in the Temptress blush, and I really like this. I use it on my cheeks and also to incorporate it into my eyes to give a more fall, fall look. I used a little bit on my crease. And I think, I think that's it. I feel like I'm missing something, but I, I can't remember what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think of the black sale. And I think that's it. So I, <laughs> I will talk to you guys soon. And I hope you're all doing well. Bye!